Welcome you bunch of beautiful buggers to another Techspert Weekly, the gadget news show that's less about gadgets and news and more about a bald northern c**t sat by himself on his sofa in his living room mourning at you fine folk about how shit everything is. As always we'll start with the big headlines from the week including lots of sexy shiny new stuff from Sony and Huawei before charging headlong into last week's viewer comments with no thoughts for our personal safety. Jingle me mother f**ker. Techspert Weekly. Now it's been a pretty big week for news and launches and it all kicked off on Monday morning bright and shiny arsed with a Sony Xperia unveiling. This was where Sony officially unveiled its next gen Xperia 1 smartphone, currently called the Xperia 1 Mark II. I've been hands on with the handset and I even published a lengthy video detailing all of the brilliant bits of this beefy bit of kit. But unfortunately Sony got in touch with me on Monday morning and asked me to take the video down despite initially granting me approval to shoot and I'm not really sure why why apparently they just don't want people talking about how great their new flagship phone is. So I can't show you this lovely wee morsel here or share this particularly sexy bit of phone filth right here, it's all been censored. But what I can tell you is that Sony has updated the original Xperia 1 with 5G support, it's brought back the headphone jack, it's pumped up the performance with the new Snapdragon 865 chipset and it's updated that camera tech with fresh Zeiss optics and an upgraded autofocus. And for what I've seen so far I'm definitely very intrigued, it looks like a smart evolution of the original Xperia 1 smartphone phone definitely a serious option for any media lovers out there and hopefully the camera tech from the Xperia 1 has been improved upon in all the areas where it really matters like the HDR smarts to really produce some stunning everyday photos and videos so stay tuned hopefully I can bring you an updated hands-on or something soon. Sony also took the opportunity to launch the new Xperia 10 Mark II which is another serious upgrade over last year's model and yep you guessed it same situation I can't show you any of my hands-on action for reasons but take my word for it I guess the design is truly delicious with full waterproofing and Gorilla Glass action, while the OLED panel is incredibly bright and punchy, definitely an early contender for one of the most exciting mid-range mobiles of 2020. And that same day, Monday afternoon, Huawei decided also to launch a bunch of fresh new tech at our face holes as well. First we got the new Mate XS bendy foldable phone, which unfurls to reveal a mighty 8 inch display. It's very similar to the original Mate X from last year, but with updated specs and an extra bit of spit shine. And you can see my full hands on action here on Text. But hooray! I've also had a cheeky wee fondle of the Huawei Mate Pad Pro 5G, a tablet set to take on the iPad Pro with its premium specs, ultra fast connectivity and range of accessories, although like the Mate XS there's sadly no Google services on board. And there was just about enough time for the latest MateBook X Pro as well which has again been updated with fresh specs for 2020. And if you thought Huawei would just dust off its hands and stick its feet up and watch a bit of Don't Tell the Bride on telly, well you got another thing coming boyo because it also announced that on March the 26th the P40 and P40 Pro will be officially unveiled at a massive Paris extravaganza. Hopefully I will be there in person to cover the new flagship smartphone so do bung me a subscribe if you haven't already and uh, you'll be one of the first to see me get my greasy mitts all over those bad boys. And now it's the part of the show that would make even the double hardest of bastards drop to their knees and weep salty tears of horror. It's viewer comments. Whoop. Viewer comments. <laughs> so first up this week, Michael says, Hey Chris, you forgot that OnePlus are adding an eyebrow selfie mode to the Plus 8. Smiley face, thumbs up. Ha, fucking ha. Although actually that would be pretty cool if it could automatically take a selfie just when you raise a eyebrow in a suggestive manner. Uh, next up, um, any chance you'll take a look at the LG V60 if announced soon? Uh, well, it actually was announced earlier this week. A bunch of Americans went hands on with it. Um, I don't think LG really cares about the UK market at all, to be fair. If you look at like Carphone or something like that, they'll stock maybe one or two LG phones. I think maybe the V50, that'll be about it. Uh, this UK strategy is pretty much non existent. And to be fair, my excitement levels for LG phones plummeted massively since the days of like the G2, the G3, all the classics and stuff. Our Kamoji buddy is back. Yes, the Kamoji was flipping you off. Uh, and then another Kamoji, this one's giving you a thumbs up, which is equivalent to flipping you off in some parts of the world, but that's not the point. By the way, change the intro jingle, it's getting old already and it's disgusting. Um, and what's this? Is this somebody throwing rocks at my face or something? Not really sure. Um, I will change the jingle, fear ye not. I mean, like, my absolute dream would be to get, like, a metal band or something just doing a killer guitar riff and doing Tech Weekly! Um, but unfortunately, I don't know anyone who's cool enough to be in a metal band. And as far as my own personal uh, musical talents go, I can basically play Yankee Doodle Dandy and uh, the riff from Smoke on Water on the guitar. That's about it. And I'm pretty sure those are both copyrighted to f**k. 
Uh, Mark says, love your irreverent yet relevant. Try saying that quickly. Irre irreverent yet relevant. No, I'm not going to bother doing that. Uh, perspective and the informal nature of your videos, which is hiding a lot of work, I think. Wondered if you ever thought about doing any collaborations. Would be interested to hear you and others on a chat style podcast. Um, I mean, to be honest, when I get together with other tech journalists, we just drink far too much beer and then gripe about how a bunch of 14 year olds are taking our jobs. Um, I would like to do a podcast, but to be honest, time is so scarce that I would have to multitask and have to like record it on the bog or something like that that's pretty much my only free time these days next rob torture Wright says again what's the most valuable new feature on a smartphone that you find yourself using daily or often nothing particularly stand out to be perfectly honest i mean i love a few of the new android 10 features like dark mode the gesture navigation but it's nothing particularly new or exciting like the gesture navigation, several other manufacturers had that built into their own particular launches a considerable while ago. Uh, the only one I've really used that's fresh and new and pretty good for me is Pixel 4's auto transcribe mode, uh, which is excellent if you're in a launch or something like that, trying to capture as much information as possible, and then you need to find it again later. Uh, but that's quite a specific user case, and let's face it, the Pixel 4's battery ain't great, so I won't recommend the phone just on the basis of that. Have you ever messed up a review unit? Um, you know what, I've been reviewing phones for like eight, nine years now, and I've only ever messed up one phone and that was one of those rugged cat phones uh, and I mean a cat as in the manufacturer not as in a smartphone for moggies that would be a bit weird and the PR swore that it would be able to take a tumble from like two meters or something like that and so on video of course I dropped it from probably about a height of one meter and it smashed to bits the f***ing screen flew apart fluid was leaking everywhere it was of a state. Unfortunately I think Mobile Choice uh, which is where I was working at the time they've deleted the original video now uh, as well as every other video that I ever did so read into that what you will because it was basically just me dropping a phone in the middle of an office and then going oh fuck very loudly. Great times. Uh, next up Kevin says I'm looking forward to the Sony launch. I'm easy to please put LDAC in the L3 and take my money. Uh, yeah as well as the new Xperia 1 and the Xperia 10 handset Sony did also sneak out the L4 uh, the previous week in fact. It wasn't even revealed at the same launch. I guess they didn't want to take some of the, the spotlight away from the Xperia 1 and 10. But yeah, the L4 looks really, really good. It's got the same stretchy 21 by 9 aspect ratio as the flagship smartphones, hopefully for a sub £200 price. You've got triple lens rear camera and some pretty decent specs on there. So hopefully be bringing you a full review soon. Uh, next up, hello from Chicago. Hello right back. I love me a bit of Chicago. I uh, flew in there once uh, about a couple of years back, uh, legged it through a snowstorm to the local Hilton. Uh, slept there for about eight hours and then legged it back to the airport and buggered off. Lovely place. What game are you currently playing and on what system slash laptop? Uh, so the one I'm currently playing is the new Nazi zombie army trilogy thing where you basically just take a sniper rifle and shoot endless undead Nazi f heads right in the face from across the room or in the balls if you're feeling particularly malicious and it's great fun great way of getting rid of all that stress at the end of a particularly shite day and did I already mention I'm playing it on PC I can't remember I'm fucking brain dead it's the end of the week man I just need a beer and sleep and uh, surprisingly I had lots of comments asking where's the Xperia 1 Mark 2 video what's going on with the Xperia 1 Mark 2 video uh, but I think we basically already covered that it's sat on YouTube servers with a big fat private sticker slapped across it hopefully I can unprivate it at some point I'll I'll keep you informed. Next up, Warmate Sean says, Chris, a 100 times space zoom on a phone cannot zoom into space and it is purely digital at that length. Yep, 100% accurate. It's a 10 times optical zoom on the uh, S20 Ultra, 100 times digital zoom. Uh, it's maximum level and it's a bit shonky at that sort of level, so I wouldn't even bother, frankly. And basically, who wants to shoot pictures of space anyway? I mean, it's, it's a big black expanse. If you want to look at pictures of space, right, go on NASA's website. They've got some incredible pictures of space taken with some fantastic high-tech equipment actually from space as well. Don't go onto Facebook and look at your mate Gerald's photos of the moon that he shot from the ground on his smartphone, especially because your mate Gerald is almost certainly some annoying cunt who you haven't spoken to since school. He doesn't even like him back then anyway. Uh, next comment, Swindon is lovely. Swindon is lovely? What have you been smoking, sir? And can you please send me an ounce in the mail? Uh, and also, what do you think of TCL's potential slide-in phone where the screen expands from a smartphone to a tablet? I mean, it looks like another solution if you absolutely must carry a massive whopping tablet around in your pocket. I'm not entirely sure how it works exactly. Surely if one bit of it slides out, then you've got a groove in the middle there, which would prove really distracting and annoying for actually swiping about. But I did notice in the leaked image that popped up in CNET, there was no groove. So I don't know if that's just a magical render that's complete bull or who knows um, it was supposed to be unveiled at MWC 2020 before basically that whole thing just 
itself. So uh, hopefully we'll get another unveiling at some point and we'll actually be able to go hands on with it. So a huge, huge, huge thank you to all of you marvellous human beings who commented on last week's show. Please, please, please do slap your comments down below as well. If I didn't get to your comment last week, feel free to just repeat it down below or just call me a Whatever floats your boat, I guess, makes you feel uh, happy and merry and jolly at the end of what has been a very long week. Uh, so next week, what's coming up? Well, uh, let's have a little jiffy at the uh, the old calendar. So I've got the dentist on Wednesday. What a sh that is. And then on the Friday, we've got the next delayed MWC launch. We've got the Oppo Find X2 launch. That's kicking off at 9.20 a.m. precisely uh, UK time. <laughs> Very precise that. Um, so I'm going to be at the launch anyway. Hopefully be able to get some lovely sexy hands-on footage for you fine folk. So stay tuned on Friday for more on that. And next week I've got a whole bunch of other stuff coming your way, including hopefully a full review of this bad boy here, the Moto G8 Power, which is one of the most anticipated phones, certainly on my behalf. I've definitely been looking forward to this for a while, so uh, definitely stay tuned for my in-depth photos. You can check out my unboxing and my comparison with the Moto G8 Plus right here on Techspert right now. And uh, yeah, hopefully join me next Friday for more quickies action as well. As ever, love you fine folk. Have yourselves a lovely weekend. Bye-bye.